Welcome back to Motor Authority, where we dive deep into the world of high performance defense technology, air combat superiority, and the cutting edge of American military innovation. Today, we're talking about the game changer in modern aerial warfare at the 2025 AIM 152 DMRAM missile. A new chapter in air dominance has begun, and this is the missile rewriting the playbook. The AIM 152D is not just another update. It's a radical leap forward, designed to meet and defeat the growing threats of advanced enemy fighters, stealth aircraft, and hypersonic cruise missiles. Born from the combat experience of the past, and built for the future battle space of 2030 and beyond. The AIM 152D is more than a missile, A, it's a strategic advantage. Let's rewind for a moment. The AMRAM A or Advanced Medium Range Air to Air Missile A has been the standard bearer of American aerial might for decades. From the AIM 120A in the early 1990s to the AIM 120D, each iteration brought faster speeds, longer ranges, and smarter guidance systems. But 2025 is a turning point. With the AIM 152D, the US Air Force isn't just improving, it's reinventing. So, what makes this missile so special? For starters, range. We're talking beyond 200 kilometers, a easily surpassing the AIM 120D's 160 kilometer maximum. That's nearly a 25% increase, giving American fighters the ability to strike first and from farther away, well outside the engagement envelope of enemy radar and missiles. In modern dogfights, that first launch opportunity can mean the difference between dominance and defeat. But range isn't everything. It's the guidance that wins battles. The AIM 152D features a brand new multi mode seeker that blends active radar homing with advanced infrared tracking. That means it's much harder to spoof with electronic countermeasures or decoys. Enemy stealth aircraft? Not safe. Low observable drones? Also at risk. This missile doesn't just track at hunts. What makes it even more impressive is its onboard artificial intelligence. Yes, the AIM 152D is one of the first US air to air missiles to integrate AI driven decision making directly into its flight control system. That means smarter target prioritization, mid course retargeting, and advanced evasion tactics all without pilot input once fired. It adapts in real time. Think of it as a combat co pilot in missile form. The warhead is equally impressive. Using a directional blast fragmentation design, it maximizes kill probability without needing a direct hit. In a world of fast moving, maneuverable aircraft, that kind of precision damage radius is a major advantage. Combine that with a proximity fuse capable of adjusting detonation based on speed and vector and you've got a missile that finishes the job more often. But there's more going on under the hood. The propulsion system has been overhauled. A next-gen solid rocket motor A rumored to include dual-pulse technology A allows for sustained speed and better energy management throughout the missile's flight path. That means it can chase, climb, and turn far more aggressively during terminal phase especially against evasive 5th gen fighters or cruise missiles flying low and fast. And speaking of cruise missiles, one of the driving factors behind the AIM 152D's development was the need to counter hypersonic threats. We're talking about missiles that travel 5 to 10 times the speed of sound. Traditional air-to-air -air interceptors can't keep up A they just weren't built for that level of speed and agility. But the 152D was. It may not be hypersonic itself, but it has the sensors, software, and maneuverability to predict and intercept hypersonic threats before they reach American skies or carrier groups. Now let's talk platforms. 
The AI M152D isn't just for one aircraft. It's built for multi-platform flexibility. The F-22 Raptor. The F-35 Lightning II. The Navy's F-A-18 Super Hornet. Even future platforms like the Ngade Next Generation Air Dominance A are being equipped to carry this missile. That's strategic interoperability on a level the US hasn't had before. Any airframe, any mission, same lethal missile. And the best part? It fits. The AI M152D was designed to maintain compatibility with the internal weapons bays of stealth aircraft. That means no compromises on radar signature, and no extra drag. It's plug and play for the 21 ST Century Air Fleet. The United States isn't alone in developing long range air dominance capabilities. Russia has the R 37M, with claimed ranges over 300 kilometers. China's PL 15 has raised eyebrows in Western intelligence circles with its ramjet propulsion. But the AI M152D doesn't just match those threats it was designed specifically to beat them. With advanced jamming resistance, superior sensor fusion, and in-flight networking via Link 16 and MADL, it fights smarter and sees further. And it's not just a solo hunter. The AI M152D is fully network enabled. That means it can be fired toward a general target area and updated mid-flight by AWACS aircraft, drones, on wingmen. That's distributed lethality in action. You don't need to see the target to kill it your network does. Development of this missile has been years in the making, with major contributions from Raytheon, Northrop Grumman, and a host of AI firms under the Pentagon's Joint Advanced Weapon Systems Initiative. And now in 2025, full rate production is underway. Pilots in red flag exercises are already training with simulated AIM 152D loadouts, preparing for the tactics that this new missile unlocks. What's next? Integration with autonomous aircraft. That's right A pairing the AI M152D with drones like the MQ-28 Ghost Bat or the upcoming collaborative combat aircraft will allow unmanned platforms to act as forward interceptors. Human pilots stay back, drones go forward, and the AI M152D does the killing. In the air war of tomorrow, reaction time is measured in milliseconds. Sensor coverage is global and every fighter is a node in a digital kill web. The AI M152D was built not just to survive in that environment A but to dominate it. So what does this mean for America's adversaries? A clear message, the sky is not yours. Whether it's the South China Sea, the Baltic, or high above a carrier strike group, any aircraft that enters contested airspace must now contend with the AI M152D. And that changes the calculus of power projection across the globe. Thanks for watching Motor Authority. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the cutting edge of air combat, hit that like button, subscribe, and let us know in the comments say what system or tech should we break down next. Until then, stay sharp. Stay fast, and remember A in the skies above, the future belongs to those who shoot first, and hit.